Yam Day 1, update on the greenhouse. Thing turned out good, part three. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everyone everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the Most High Yah. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to a another righteous spirit filled episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man this is the greenhouse right here man got a sunshade on it not quite time for us to put the plastic but let's go inside and see what we got going on right here do a little bit of watering Got bell peppers, all kind of peppers right here. Goal is to keep that mulch nice and wet. Because if you don't, that dirt will dry out quicker than you realize. Look at them tomatoes on there. I mean, look at them peppers on there. Mm-hmm. Real nice. Got that drip irrigation system in there. Just haven't quite dialed it in yet, but it's already ready to go more bell peppers did some pruning on a lot of them to keep the growth right up near the top this is actually an old water hose that leaked and I just cut the part that was leaking off and kept on using it you know very resourceful have to be that way you know save save where you can all right let's keep going once I'm done watering, I'll show you the uh, the drip irrigation system. These little heads and stakes right there come in a pack of uh, three for like four bucks. And then you just pretty much put the teas and the holes on them. Tomatoes right here, right here. These ones had a rough season they produced, but they was getting ate out by um, bugs and stuff like that. But you see there, see that new growth down there coming back. So. Still got some more fight in there. They almost look like they were, were done, but we're bringing them things back, giving them some, uh, some fertilizer, some good food, good nutrients, you know, high nitrogen. Make sure that soil stays nice and moist. This one still, it's got some growth on there, but it, it's taking a little bit slower time to come back, but that's all right. That's all right, trying to get the max out of uh, the stuff that we have before the dead season comes, try to get another harvest off, you know, but gotta get out here and be intimate with this. This is Yom day one, you know, this is, you know, where most people would get up and go do Sunday sun worship, but hey, this is the first day of the week. You look on your calendar and you will see it is the first day of the week. Yesterday was the Shabbat, ended at sun, sunset and uh as soon as that sun went down we, we got back to work good day of rest good day of rest right here we have uh mimi red peppers we eat a lot of peppers right here not so much hot peppers but just like bell peppers and um chili peppers red peppers all that stuff right there Look at these peppers, had some fall off. I need to put like a, a chicken thing around it to stop these rabbits, cause these rabbits, boy, you got all this good, this good growth. These rabbits will come, dog. You come out here one day, 
have peppers and everything ready to go, almost ready to harvest. And you turn back around the next day, rabbits and cleaned you out. I said, appreciate it, thank you. Got the pallets in here with the stuff sitting on it. Need to put some more mulch in this one right here. That dirt's showing so it'll dry out and come back with another round of mulch in there. Yep, peppers. Got uh, tomatoes right there. More peppers, nice and healthy. Look at that right there. Oh yeah, they're ready, ready to go. These are Tabasco heirloom peppers, man, Tabasco. The ones that you find um, in like soul food restaurants, they put them in a bottle with a little bit of vinegar, stuff like that. These are Serrano hot peppers right here. Uh, let's see, these mammoth, mammoth jalapenos jalapenos and then right here check this out look at these look at these watermelons right there yeah buddy coming in nice coming in real nice got the drip irrigation system hooked to hooked to all of it we getting down yep mm-hmm and I just wrapped them around this you know this pole right here. I got these beams up here that I would use as a trellis, but you know, I'm just maybe about four days being done with the greenhouse, finally getting the system down pat, but man, I can't wait on that. I can't wait on that. Next summer, I'm probably gonna grow some more and grow them probably about a week apart. I need to do some pruning on this one to prune the um, all that dead stuff off there because you don't want that robbing the nutrients this is cucumbers right here, good old cucumbers in there. I got two of them in there. And this um, this is the five gallon bucket method, you know. Me and my family wanted to get into this. And um, I got raised beds over there, but we're going with this five gallon bucket method. You know, a lot of wisdom that comes from actually getting out here and doing what the book says, build ye houses and plant ye gardens. You know, you got to jump in where you're able to at that moment rather than just rejecting the word. You know, and it's a, a lot of learning, like a lot for my tomato plants. When I first planted them, I didn't give them enough dirt. I filled the dirt halfway up with bucket, halfway up the bucket. And then, um, you know, the roots were starting to show through the top of the dirt. And they didn't have enough room to grow. So I filled them up, gave this big thick one right here, a bigger pot, you know. Over here, we got some broccoli. We got four things of broccoli. Yep. Back there, we got some cherry tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Go real good on your salad, broccoli. Trying this out, never grown this before, but uh, gonna give it a go, you know? Don't know if you don't try. Look at that. Beautiful. Broccoli. right here uh, this is Cajun bell pepper so it might have a little bit more uh, spice to it Cajun never had it before but we're gonna give it a try hopefully this yields pretty good with these five gallon buckets man you want to fill it fill that thing all the way up to the top with you know some peat moss and some good uh, potting soil you want to give those roots room to to breathe you know to be able to get the oxygen, to be able to absorb the nutrients. Cajun bell peppers right here once again. Let's check this out. And then we got two, two watermelons right there. Look at that. Look at that, coming in good. Man, I'm hoping those things are just juicy and sweet as can be. Mm, 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 mm. Glory to the most high Yah. Uh, cherry tomatoes right there, coming in. Yep. So constantly having to come out here and just make sure that they are um, doing all right, looking for insects, you know, spraying your natural uh, oils and stuff like that to keep the the insects down. There you go. There you have it right there. That's the 
That's the greenhouse right there. Got the sunshade up, blocking that sun that's coming up back there. There you have it. There you have it. Got my fertilizer and my food and my uh, my natural oils right there to prevent the bugs. Let's go turn this water off. There you have it right there. Simple greenhouse, finally complete. Only thing I have to do is just put the plastic on it. Glory to the Most High Yah. Y'all have a blessed day. Closer to God Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.